Okay, hello. So we are recording the workflow from uh, Affinity Designer over to uh, Moho. <laughs> Moho. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of weird little tricks here, but like, it's a really great program in the end. Um, so it's totally worth it. So here's, uh, so I'm in, Mo I'm in Affinity just uh, doing basic cleanup. You have to remove all the uh, gradients because it doesn't work when it goes over to Affinity, or uh, sorry, Moho, they, it doesn't understand that. So you dump that. Um, I These arms are actually tubes now. These, these are sculpted, so they have points, but um, over here I switched just to a tube because it's actually a lot easier to rig, um, which we're gonna do in just a second. So. Okay, so here's here's a lady. Okay, um, I do SVG export, Oop, XBG export as SVG for export. I leave all that stuff the same, boom. And then character export, new folder. Um, I can't remember the name, helper, female, pony. Oop. Boom, boom. Okay, and then back over to Moho. File import. Sadly to say, Moho does not uh, understand layers, so um, uh, there's no sense in, in going to Illustrator, which is a drag. So let me just delete all this stuff because we don't need those characters. And I think if you scale this, this is going to be a problem. I uh, guess it doesn't much matter because it doesn't look right anyways. So, oops. Alt to, you know, the usual thing there. So things get messed up for some reason between Moho and um, uh, Affinity. No, sorry, Affinity and Moho. Um, for some reason, line sizes get messed up. But the cool thing is they can be adjusted with this tool. So you just basically put them back. But the really cool thing is that you can actually mess with them um, by point, I just found out. So you can make arms that do this, which is way easier than messing with the... Uh, so you can grab each point can have a different weight, so it can be like kind of stroked down. And that's it, like that's great. So and then the next thing, um, it's best to put any gradients in here um, while uh, before you break it apart, just because it makes life easier and you can um, select, like, you know, if I wanted gradients here, you know, the same colors, uh, like the hair or something, I could do that um, right in here really easily. So um, we grab our fill, boom, gradient, I go like, for some reason, this is the default. Get rid of that. Select the other color. Select that. Now that becomes our dark color. Like so. Boom, boom, boom. You can move off of it. Make a nice, simple neck shadow. Maybe a little less angle, like so. Um, it seems like anything that is going to get bent and not uh, attached to a layer, you don't want to... Um, you don't want to put gradients on because it seems to mess up. So, sadly to say, uh, I don't. I'm not been doing that. So, but the great thing about this program is that you know you can everything's still vectors, right? So I can make changes at any time, and that's like crazy valuable. You know, like so okay. I usually put one here. I think a little bit of, of, of uh, bending is okay, but it's when you're uh, like really bending stuff around is when it just freaks out. Um, so like, you know, this is this will probably be fine. But it, I like to put a little bit there, so differentiate the armpit. I like to change the color of the backside leg, or uh, like so. 
Um, let's do some on the hair. It's just great. I mean, you just quickly put this together and it's editable through the whole process. So you just can't beat that. So, oops, like that. And you get this great look. Let's put the one here. Just, uh, I don't know. It's a bummer that this is the default, but it's a strange program, make no mistake. I mean, it is weird, but it's really cool. It is worth, you know, trugging or, you know, dealing with because it's super, super, super cool. Okay, so uh, like I said, everybody gets broken apart after the fact. I've you got to tear the arms off, or our hands need to be separate um, because you're gonna you, you can switch those out in you know um, in animation time. Okay, so once the you, you do all the art this way, um, then you just tear it apart by basically going from top to bottom. So just delete new vector layer eyes open hide Oop, don't forget to paste boom paste go back and just piece by piece x boom eyes oh no brow eyebrows paste save boom mouth x boom i actually set this up to be alt v to create a new uh, vector layer, but actually it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, mouth. Usually just animate the mouth by hand, um, but there's some great things to allow you to um, move that around, um, or, or like, uh, not move it around, but uh, you know, like uh, switch between pieces, which is really neat. Vector, boom. Head, pony. Now, once you get it going, it, it's just one of those programs that's like really, really weird. But, like I said, it's really worth your time. Okay, head. Oops. That's the inner ear. X. And it's really flexible. And let's see, what else can I think of on here? So I've been tearing the neck off separate. And, uh,. Not sure that that's doing the trick, but um, like I said, I keep doing it. I think I'll take the, this too. So X, boom, vector. And it's best to start from you know if you if you tear the first thing off, um, you know like like in Z space basically you're, you're sort of pre-building it into the right spot. So boom. Arm left, uh, pay, uh, control V just pastes it where it's supposed to be. So that's a nice thing. You don't have to control special or anything. Uh, boom. And, oops, and left, open, boom, paste. Let's see, so and the leg would be next. Oops. For some reason it jumps in and out of select mode and thinks you want to move stuff, but you just put it back. X. And vector. Leg. Left. Control V. Oops. And it's torso time. Boom. <clears throat> boom boom yeah you, you just can't beat that this is all vectors all the time you know like you can definitely set things up um, with images but like once again you just can't beat the flexibility okay um Right. 
works. So uh, the thing that you have is the switch layers are what do the um, uh, the, the switching between like different versions of the, the software and I guess there's these um, uh, smart bones or something like that that allow you to um, uh, get in there and actually you know like switch between those like in the interface and stuff but uh, since I've just been doing open a few open hands it's no big deal like uh, right. there we go oops Okay, now, so then the next thing is the whole thing falls under what they call a bone object. So it's pretty much your character root. So uh, tech or, or helper, I forget what her real name was, female, and with the ponytail. Okay, so that's everything, and you just push it under that layer. And this works. You can do that. Oh shit! I forgot a piece or oh, missed a piece. Oh well. Mm, no, it's not good actually. One thing that sucks is the drawing tools are, are pretty bad. Um, I, I still don't even know how to put a object under an object. You know, you can do this stuff. It's just it's pretty bad. I'm gonna ignore this for now because I think I can. I think I can get away with that or you know so I mean I can go over to the other leg Let's see okay grab her shin C leg left paste it in there but seriously I haven't the slightest damn idea how to there's no right click menu so there's there's no way to know how to get that under there it's just the strangest thing like I mean who who does that? It's freaking weird. But um, and this is lock. It doesn't seem to actually lock shit, so that's fun. Hi, Rue. Okay. Oops. Some of the unusual things are right, like um, alt breaks a breaks a uh, spline like that. Just put it like so. All right, once again, I mean, I would like to think that there's a way to get this to fall behind where it's supposed to fall behind and everything, but damned if I've ever found it. So I just, uh, just for, I just forget about it. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's the simplest way to get, you know, these transferred over there. Oh, ponytail needs to be behind that. So, okay, so then, um, if you need to change your um, axes, you just uh, stamp a new one down, which is real nice. Um, usually, you don't. I don't. Well, I don't even know if you can. So I'll be putting a bone on this to 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 make that do its thing. So I guess I don't even really need that, but it just makes it a little less cluttery if some of these things have their axes right where they're supposed to be. Okay, so and you come up to your uh, this dealy here. Uh, sorry, the, the bones layer at the top. Okay, um, and then you, you make yourself a root bone, and then I've been making like a spine, then or a spine, a neck, there. So the red bone is the currently like selected bone, um, like so. Okay. So you hit B on the keyboard and then uh, I think I to put a new one in, but I stay, or no, A to put a new one in. So you don't have to connect them like in Max or anything like that. So I can go like this, like this, and like that. And that's legit. So B, right at the shoulder, right there, right at the wrist, right at the hand. So all that's legit. Like those things are still connected. You just don't have to see anything. We'll come back to our root and I've been mainly skipping the legs, but uh, let's put them there. And then there you go. Okay, so the cool part is is you have two types of um, bone 
binding. I hit Z on my keyboard to move it. So by default, it's doing a Mac style thingy. Um, hold on. Um, and it's you know like that. But the the best way is uh is is uh so S on the keyboard also um brings these um, weights down. And sometimes this works just fine, but the easiest way is to do layer binding where instead of trying to move points, it's moving, uh, you know, uh, the whole layer at once, okay, because it's a little funky um, when it goes to do layer binding, like lots of things get influenced with each other and you, just like usual, you spend a bunch of time uh, moving shit around. So, okay, so if I bring all this stuff down, Z on the keyboard again. See, I mean, it's not bad, but some of it's decent. Like that, mid the middle section will work just fine. This is all fine. So anyway, so okay. So what we want to do then, though, is go in and grab the eyes through the head, and do a bind a layer, which is right here. And you just click the bone, boom. Now, when you manipulate bones, the head is bolted to that layer and it's not going to deform or anything weird like that see so that's pretty sweet how oh, the arms coming Ooh, arms aren't bad too so um and then same thing like the pony bind a layer bind to the pony now when i hit z back here you know the pony just and actually controls the head which is weird so that's great. So, you know, same thing for these. Oh, well, I mean, and that's not bad. I don't know if I would even need to. Oops. Oh, that's not good. See, like, this is a good example. Like, so this is getting influenced by the body. Okay. So even if I turn it down, it's probably not going to behave. Now, see, it's all coming apart. So, so there we'll have to go in and do points and stuff, you know. And same with this, you know. And they can't share points or anything. It's once again, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But this stuff's pretty good, I guess. Okay, so the way that works, let's see. So we go back to, um, uh, we go back to the layer. So this is the left arm. We select points. Let's see. So these guys would be. Oh, I know how to fix that. That's right. Uh, and then the, that arm, and then bind points to that bone. Or I think you got control. I hit B on the keyboard, and then then I then I grab my then I grab my points. I think this part's really confusing to me. Then I grab my points, and boom! Now they're bound to that layer. So there's something weird there. I don't know what the hell the deal is there. So I'll grab that point. But I got to select a bone, then bind a layer, then select ah the point. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so let's see. So B, select a bone, bind a layer, um, go to the right layer. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Boom, lay, uh, bone, bind point, bind point, enter, and that should do the trick. So you go back out, Z on the keyboard, and now we have nice clean. And I think these can now be shrunk to zero so they're not messing with the body, because we don't want them fucking with the body. All right? Yeah, see, so that's cool. That's really nice, actually. Yeah, me, 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 me. So, so now just this part. Well, that's not great either. Then, <sighs> yeah. Okay. So anyhow, so if we go back uh, to the arms, cool thing they have is this. Uh, so left arm. So I grab this point, and they have a curvature tool, right? So you can turn the curvature way down. Whoa! Not on all of them. So grab point, grab this point, change the curvature. So it'll have a sharp 
elbow. It's really cool. So boom. Now let's see, boom. Nice sharp elbow drawn, like, like real nice. Like blah, 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 blah. it's really beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I don't know what we can do to fix this. I guess if the body doesn't move much, it's this neck that's really bad. Oof, that messes with that too. Uh, so this one could be turned way down uh, with S, uh, like so. Hit the bone, S. Same with this one. Any Apparently any bone that's just uh, purely used for moving. Mox, quiet! Is a uh, fair game for, uh, you know, let's see. Hmm. Um, fair game for just shrinking and not doing anything with, so let's see. I don't know what's going to happen here. I think it's sort of like with Max, where if you don't have something selected, oops, um, it's just going to assume nothing, or it's going to assume everybody else, so like, these legs, obviously shit. You know, this is shit, but uh, you don't really, everybody's just kind of standing there, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, that helped. So I guess that this instance, so the cool about, thing about this is points can be bound to different bones. So like, this is good for the body, but like if we went into the neck, so if I said bone, right? Select bone, boom. Oh, select bone, went into the neck, bound, some, bound these two points to it, wham. Bone, bound the, then, bound the rest of the points to that and then went back up here z we should have a kind of moves that's kind of that's, that's fine but the body yeah see so it kind of floats that's great so let's see so okay it's it's you know like, like it's tricky but it's not the end of the world so there, boom, and then select, bind it there. Okay, so Z. So, you know, I mean, that whole process took, you know, a couple of minutes, and we're ready to go. And it's got a really great system for moving stuff. So, oh, gosh, so the number one thing to make any changes structurally to anything, uh, change points, move things around, whatever you want to do, you must be at frame zero. There's no warning, no nothing. It just doesn't work, and it's infuriating. I think there's even dynamics and stuff in here somewhere, but uh, you know that that could potentially uh, move this around. Um, the th other thing, if you get pinching uh, and stuff like that, and in, in areas, obviously this is just great, and I would not mess with it, and I probably won't do this anymore, frankly, because it's really nice. Um, is uh. What you can do is, uh, there's a script thing uh, called, uh, no, animation, no, uh, crap, actions. It's called like Smart Bones here somewhere. Animation. Anyways, what it is, is it's just uh, make Smart Bone dial. So uh, it's really cool because it allows you to pose and then it's it's like when you pose things and then you move it's just like in maya where you, you you make a change tweak the points and it knows that when when you've gone to this bend level uh to uh uh switch it to uh you know let's see what am i trying to say here uh, uh morph it essentially you know a morph target i forget what it was called but it would essentially know so i, I you, you go on the forearm and you you name your forearm then you bend it into place, tweak the points, and then that's essentially, once again, an angle. You know, knows, okay, when at this angle, pull all these points in. That's what I had to do to fix these arms, but obviously it's just fine now. Um, I've been putting a little bit of shadow on by just, you go to the root. Uh, no, no, not on this one, sorry. On like, you, I would group this arm together so that if it came across the body, this, this is pretty high contrast, so it looks good. Um, oh, that's weird. 
Where did your hat go? Oh, let's hope that's not a thing. I don't know what happened there. It's a glitchy fucker, that's for damn sure, but it's really good, so... Um, you make keys, like, anytime you click on anything, you get a... Like, you would immediately get a hold key. Boom. Yeah, so just clicking on something... Gets you holds. Um, motion graph. Uh, for some reason, you gotta double click this to see your motion graphs. You have your Bezier points underneath here. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, motion blur gets turned on also at the top level here. So here I would just go to motion blur. I've been turning it down. It seems a little aggressive. And it run, renders faster when you do like about half of that. Um, Control R on the keyboard renders the current frame, and you can see where it's at. It's cool. I mean, it's it's really cool. It's it's weird, but it's cool. There's still more to learn. Oh, there's a nice double display here, so like you can, you know, do do body work and then, but then, it's really great. There's all kinds of features and stuff. Uh, we did the gradients. We did that. Um, so yeah. So you know, knowing these things is crazy important, and and it's the menu switches. But, you know, depending on what you can do to stuff, you know. Like I said, I have no damn idea on uh, how to mess with the layers and stuff like that, which is, you know, which is a huge bummer. A will insert a, uh, A on the keyboard will insert another point in a shape if you need to tweak that around, um, whatever. Um, and that's about it. Um, you basically just render thing, you know, uh, project settings are here. Um, I've been exporting out as PNGs, uh, renders nice and fast, even with motion blur on. Um, they have some other export things, but it's great, you know? I mean, these, these look damn good. There's lots of other options for, like, uh, image textures and weird rendering types and stuff like that, um, soft edges and everything, but, you know, for this style, it looks just great, you know? And, um, people are using, um, there's, like, a thing, a switch layer where you put like a switch out here somehow. Uh, I think it's just a bone, right? And then they're animating like the, the, the features like sideways or whatever. Like that's how they're changing their perspective. So like you would literally, you know, make this ear pop, make this ear go behind, change how the nose works, whatever it is to change dimension. Um, so you, you, you rotate that and that would sort of morph through it um and like i said i've been hand hand moving the mouth um it works great and just every you know every key keyframe does something you know um usually i'm finding extra points there for some reason Oop, see i'm not on zero so i can't delete come back here and delete that i'm gonna put the same shape which is good news oops and uh yeah so let's see i think that's most of it um, yeah, I think that's everything. I like it. I can't figure out how to, oop, how to pan. Um, I don't think you can. I mean, I don't see, you, you know, I've been just zooming in and, and out, you know, kind of contextually like that, um, uh, which is stupid, but, um, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think that's it. Um, this should get you started. I think, uh, uh, yeah, so they're I'm doing guys in here. I tried exporting as uh, uh, Illustrator, but uh, it blows up the layers, so there's no real point. And I think it doesn't even bring these splines across. So anywhere, like, actually, I could make really nice eyebrows. Now that I think about it, you can just draw splines like so. Okay. Um, bring them across, and then actually we need to point them. Oop. Point in the middle. So one, two, three. A on the keyboard like that so it looks stupid now but if I brought it in there it would make um, I could make it you know pointy here pointy there or maybe not pointy here or something like that and then all these you know I could reshape them really really easily in fact that would be the smartest way to do it like the noses can be done that way and it looks really nice. Like her nose, I could go in here, 
go to the nose head head here it is um, go to points mode transform points so boom shrink Oop. shrink shrink that down click it shrink so you get some fake uh, what do you call it there? I mean, a mouth almost could be done this way. It's really cool. If this, if the tools weren't so bad, or maybe they're not that bad or something, and I gotta learn them, like, it's really great because, you know, like the skin here could be, you know, painted and really cool looking, you know, because it brings in bitmaps and everything. But, um, you know, obviously, this is way more flexible. So, you know, if I wanted to draw here. I mean, it's just the worst, you know, you come in here. Okay, here's your draw tools. Now, I don't even see a real spline tool like I can draw, boom. You know, now I have, oh, well, that's not so bad. That's kind of what I'm looking to do. Oh, uh, T, right? Yeah, this is a, you know, great program for, uh, uh, to remember the damn keyboard commands because it's so weird. So if I did this, I could go like this and like that. So maybe just a little bit no. Like you can even do cool those kind, like realistic looking ones. So let's just delete these for now. And T on the keyboard and move it down. So these are a little much. So T. Right, so new new shapes could be like, oh, hey, yeah, that's great. So it actually did a pretty good job at, uh, you know, um, interpolating that or whatever. And just when I drew a quick curve, and then T, get rid of the old one. Yeah, it's weird, but it's not the end of the world, that's for sure. Boom, and thicken that up just a tad. Thicken that up, thicken that up. So yeah, so now these are way better. Control R, they look good. So let's see, we can select them both, I think. So select them both, boom, and boom. Change the stroke type or color to brown. Didn't work. Yeah, all this stuff is just awful. Like, it's just simply not doing it. I don't know why. Oh, fill up and stroke. Yeah, according to this, it's not even stroked, so who knows? Like, yeah, each point. It's really cool, though. So, yeah, this is see what this is why you would want to do this somewhere else because what a nightmare. But it's really great. Uh, Box, be quiet. You could see a million things you want to do with that, or you could do that way. So I think that's it. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, this moves the camera, which is really nice because it's agnostic, and you can actually even animate it. So if you pan like this see it creates keys out here right so you know really great i've been just bringing it back in as you know as a sequence but i mean that's pretty nice uh yeah i think that's it this has been moho studio for dummies uh control save oh yeah save upper female body Let's see if it's the same name here we go so yeah um let's see so oh yeah one last thing i guess is um uh, if you remember you gotta always go to freaking zero uh boom switch layer so uh, for blinking eyes, I've been just doing this. So eyes, eyes open. You put in there. So you just duplicate this, shape it, and then when you right click, you, you you basically choose there, and it'll just create a switch really quick. 
hands I've been doing the same way just to go to a new hand layer or hand type just uh, hand left that's why I named the first one because like oh, then you'll make like a pointy one or whatever so that's really handy and it just shows up right here and you can easily cop copy out uh, copy uh, out uh, blinks or whatever you know you just set it up once and it goes blink 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 I haven't figured out how to hide the um, stupid uh, bones when you don't need them which is a bit of a pain in the ass huh. yeah browse now yeah, see this I don't I don't I really really don't understand like I don't know why it's moving the whole object or anything so why this isn't black I just have no idea so if you go back to, to zero and you get out the drawing tools yeah nothing so if you get out the drawing tool oh it's brown now so that's real cute mm -hmm. so it's not bad you know that one's not bad either but she's totally rigged and I mean this is the easy part I mean animating it you know, once you've rigged it up is uh, just a joy. So you just hit Z on your keyboard to obviously, like I said before, move the skeleton. You know, she's she's in the right depth and everything. And you know, the way we set this up, she can bend decently. You know, and just and the great thing is, is you know, you're not just yeah, you know, like this sucks. I could fix that. You know, like something's wrong, and just the way that's working is not great. Could conceivably, well, no, I can't pin. I think you got to choose between pinning. Yeah, you got to choose between pinning uh, points or pin binding the whole layer. So I actually couldn't like just grab. I don't think I can grab. Well, let's find out. Can't hurt. So uh, arm, right. Boom. If I grab this point this point oh wait we are binding so I guess I could conceivably bind it to this instead or wait select the bone boom go to the layer arm left uh, bind points enter back to there Z now let's see what happens oh yeah look at that so that's cool barring that but yeah, what are you gonna do there and you could always just add another point and bind it to the thing so you know that's really nice no well, that's not so nice <laughs> yeah so we'll undo that and just deal with that well the beauty here is that what you could do you know is go in a animate this and i did this before if this is really unsightly go in and just animate the point down you know that's the great thing about this is it's just you know like if it doesn't work just fix it, fix it right me alive. Um, that's what's so wonderful about it. Oh, I know. Uh, Alt on the keyboard um, is your your reduce area or whatever. Uh, so, and I think there we go. So, click, see, hold, you know, and you can just bob it just the tiniest amount. Boom. It's great. It's really cool. I love it. It's really fun. Once everything gets rigged up, it's just it's just a lot of fun. Um, oh, uh, I know one thing that's neat too is there's a um, tool. Um, if you create just a bone, like if you wanted just some weird, you know, blubbery stuff, you know, like say this, you know, if you just plop a bone down somewhere, it's just a circle. Um, it just basically turns into a magnet influencer. So, like, if you wanted a jiggling gut, you could put this here and just animate the, you know, just animate through the thing and uh, animate the bone however you want, and uh, you get, you know, whatever dynamics. Or if you wanted to, I don't know, move the eyes around, or I don't know, whatever, um, bouncy ears. Who knows? Whatever it is, you know. So it's really cool. Um, yeah, that's your usual stuff. That's your usual stuff. That's your usual stuff. Share layer selector transform. Yeah. So okay, that's it.
good luck soccer there's some good stuff online um, on YouTube not on their site if you uh, go in there so 